Hi, so, um, look, certain lore dictates angels to provide messages, inspiration, protection, others just vibing as biblical, accurate angels. Others are resting in peace as Alan Rickman, but the only angel I believe in provides the ultimate form of energy, the most inspiring source of anything, the thing needed the most in a world like ours. Cuteness. Divine cuteness. A wonder of the stars. Who's ready for story time with Meerkat? Because imagine, you work a shitty dead-end surface job that leaves you hollow and your back worse than before. You come home after dealing with bullshit and pop on stardom and get a dose of fucking cuteness. And it's like wreck room for a dream and now you're suddenly happy. I swear, call this female exploitation because men like me go wow on these Asian girls. Because this is what it does, it appeals like the male fantasy. <laughs> Call me misogynist, call me sexist, call me keeper of the standard of objectification and the male gaze, and I'll raise you one point. It's us 30 year old workers where life was just drained right out of us, where one single missed paycheck means our whole world crumbling down, with the facade that we must be chad all the goddamn time. We're the ones who need cuteness, dare I say, men. Men need more cuteness in our lives. Men need cuteness the most. So when one sees such a cute angel in their graces, one either falls in line or becomes their enemy. But lately, something has been infecting, if you will, the stardom roster. The Joker has his laugh gas that causes everyone to laugh to death. Well, this symptom is quite the opposite. The person becomes infected with cuteness. It all stems from the angel of the cosmos herself, the most divine entity that must be protected at all costs. Tam Nakano. Tam Nakano is the holy bringer of divinity, the wonder of stardom, an absolute cosmic angel. And I'm a fucking goddamn total goddamn weeper. Let's look at her. Wow! Oh my god, look at that face! Wow! Oh my god! Tam Nakano was at her most powerful form when she was the holder of the divine holy white belt. But just like the Elden Ring, it was shattered when it was snatched away by the deceiver Saya Kamatani, the betrayer of all reality, who called all stardom to collapse into disparity. People started to lose their minds over trivial things. A dark past came back for vengeance. Groups diverged. Cosmic angels kept losing and Tam lost her strength. The wonder of stardom shattered and spread a cosmic strain that Tam brought with her when she landed on our plane of existence to better it with her smile. Contagious cuteness, which spread like wildfire on the most unlikely of people. First, it infected the returning pirate princess, Kyrie, who was already cute to begin with, but the minute Tam faced her and engaged in the cuteness, it immediately affected the sky pirate, and oh my god! Kyrie was patient zero, but the first infection came with Utami Hayashishida. Utami was once the final boss of stardom, before Shigeru knocked her out of the boss room and down the roster. She was always a stoic, warrior-centric, almost emotionless caricature of a final boss in women's wrestling. I wasn't a fan. I'm sorry. That wasn't until she was scheduled to face Tam Nakano in the opening round of the Cinderella Tournament. It was at this moment the cuteness struck. Utami Hayashishida became Utami Nakano. At the press conference, she could not stop imitating the divine cuteness of Tam, and this aggravated the goddess of cute. Nothing makes her more angry. <laughs> But the contagious cue did not stop with Tommy. It spread to Micah, who always seemed to easily go along with something like becoming a bear for a full show just because she was wearing the costume. But that pissed Tam off. Oh, and Otami was offended too, like, fuck off, only I can be Tam. But Tam's like, what do you mean only you can be Tam? Only I can be Tam. I am Tam. Then cuteness spread to Izumi and just listened to her. <laughs> Even in New Japan Pro Wrestling, living legend and the one in a hundred, Hiroshi Tanahashi, whose knees still magically function on the booking power of Gato, even Tana fell to the contagious cuteness of Tam Nakano. Look at him. Look at him. That's because Tam Nakano deserves to be imitated. She's the reason I came back to stardom after the unfortunate death of Hannah Kimura. 
It was her feud with Julia over their hair and the 20 minute match that ended Julia's reign and began the righteous reign of Tam. It was the promo afterwards, the 10 minute segment of pure wrestling theater, where Tam cried her eyes out after an already physically demanding match and refused to cut Julia's hair. And Julia mocked her, laughing just to get it on with. This sold me on stardom, and I never went back to Vince's corporate graveyard. AEW and stardom. It's because of Tam Nakano. Every single defense of her holy white belt was a spectacular performance of physical and emotional display. There's not a single stardom wrestler better at this hit me bitch and I'll hit you back harder. She ends every match on her back, crying for the struggle to win the match and rises stronger and more powerful than before. If it wasn't for Mayu Iwatani existing, Tam Nakano would be the best performer in the company. So, so how will it end? How many will Tam infect? Well, everyone, everyone, everyone should embrace the cuteness. Everyone needs more cuteness in their lives, and especially us men. Embrace more adorable things, and it will make you smile more. And if that makes you cringe, oh, go hug a cat. The major drawback, Tam will be angry, really angry, like so angry. Thou shalt not imitate a god. Tam Nakano will wake up one day, go to a restaurant, and everyone will be infected with Nakano's face. Everyone going, Nakano, Nakano. But it can get dark. What if Tam Nakano begins to question if she's the cutest one out of all the copies? What if she decides to imitate a copy's imitation of her? And what happens when this begins to spiral and the copies imitating Tam begin to imitate Tam's imitation of Tam's copies? And then Tam begins to imitate the copy's imitation of Tam's imitation of the copy's imitation of Tam? And then Tam might have to leave stardom and form her own society where no one is Tam Nakano, which just leaves the copies. So that begs the question, who is Tam Nakano? Oh, look away. 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 Look away.